Well, I guess I'll be. This will be a part two because the stalkers hacked into my phone and shut off my video. It's 1.14 p.m. This will be part two. See, when I try to do something good and try to accomplish something, they shut it off. Or they, um... So I was trying to show y'all, um, the nutrition facts and the, um, ingredients on here. See, the stalkers, they don't, even the smallest things, they don't want me to accomplish. So now y'all understand for me to why for me to be easily offended and hypersensitive to everything. While at the same time y'all have a fake license to be extra harsh. So here are both of these snacks. I'm not trying to compare and contrast them. Um they're both snacks, but they're just two different ones that I'm trying, but I'm not trying to compare and contrast these two snacks. I just selected two snacks to sample and try for a food review. And I probably can do soap reviews and maybe um, toothbrush reviews or something, you know. I'm not going to do a moot bong. So I'm opening the bag. This was meant to be one video, not two. And then Abusive Narc will say Candy got too many videos. Well, they cut off the first one. Why don't I have a right to make a second one? I'm trying to continue what I, what I was doing. And the same ones that be bossy and controlling are the same ones who tell me don't worry about what other people think. Okay, I can't get this this bag open. So, the first time I ever heard of or tried kettle corn was right before I started college and I had just got my braces taken off my teeth. And now... Like I got braces for nothing. So I guess first I will try the popcorn. I ended up falling in love with kettle corn and feel like it's addictive. And the popcorners, I find those addictive too. Like I can't stop eating them. But I'm glad it's, it's not high calorie or none of that. So I will try the kettle corn first if I can get out the bag wow I don't know if I should take another handful or not because Usually, with um, kettle corn, you can taste the sweet and the salty. But to be honest, the first handful or bite tastes like bland, like nothing on it. Okay, I guess the second batch, I mean the second handful, tastes a little bit more flavor. Like It's like they put a stingy amount of um, the sweet and salty glaze. Like I taste almost plain popcorn with this one. Or it might be that all the flavor might be at the bottom. So I will try this now. I don't know if I should rate that like a 4 out of 10. I 
I'm not sure if I'd be too crazy about buying that one again. But this right here, the not the um so-called or organic version of generic Doritos. Let me try this. Well, the I'm nervous right now. My anxiety is really high, and I'm also going through so much more stuff. But um, these don't taste like Doritos at all. But I still kind of think they're good. Maybe I might give them like a seven out of ten. This one has more powder on it. No, I give it more eight out of ten. Um, these are really good, but if I had to compare the two, I would choose this one flavor wise. Um, you know. Yeah, so instead of 7, I'll give this 8 out of 10. These are kind of good. But, um, yeah, the texture is not as hard as the regular Doritos. You know, the texture of the Doritos is pretty hard, almost break your teeth kind of crunchy, but... These are not, I mean, they're kind of a different texture and not as hard. But I like these. I mean, um, but the flavor is a little bit different. It, this tastes like sharper and a little bit more smoky, the cheesy flavor. It's like sharper and a little more smoky, you know. Well, I tried, but as I said, I'm going through a rough time and going, got a lot on my mind. Um, and I'm feeling quite nervous. So, my video didn't, didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. But, um, those are like my honest reviews or my honest opinions of the two snacks. But thanks for listening to me.